Good morning, everyone. I'm Hal Mason, and today I'm going to walk you through the instructions that you received this morning by email and in Canvas for updating your schedule requests for the 2022-2023 school year in the XU portal. Student portal, as you see, opening up today, March 14th, and we're going to open it for three weeks this year, going up to April 5th. As you open the portal, you're going to see all sorts of important things. You are going to see the comments that your teachers have left for you, and that's going to help you make the decision that uh, will help you determine what course load is the right course load for you for next year. Please take some time to look through those comments that teachers have left, have conversations with your teachers, and then also have conversations with your parents, of course, and your guidance counselors to figure out exactly where you want to go for next year. You'll see the courses that are recommended for you in the portal, of course. You're also going to be able to add courses that you want. And again, I'll be walking through that in just a few minutes. Be sure if you're uh, taking, especially for English classes, you want to enter alternate courses. We cannot always give you the course that you want. It may not work with your schedule. You may, for example, be taking environmental science and society, which meets only during D-Block, and that may interfere with a craft of writing section that's available to you, and therefore, we need to know what course you want to take instead of that. If you do not give us that alternate course, the computer will choose one for you. Ultimately, you want to enter about 7.25 credits. If you don't enter enough credits, you're going to see a red box flash up when you post. If you have fulfilled all the requirements that we need, you'll get a green box at the end. Make sure you see that green box before you leave the portal and make sure that you hit that post button. At the end, you can also leave a note for your guidance counselor in there in case you have other questions or want to alert your counselor to something in your uh, selections. The next document you're going to see is the road to a student schedule. You've seen this before. Updated dates on here. Be sure you're checking your information the graduation summary. Very important. Uh, and, and follow the dates on this, again, leading to that April 5th date. Uh, for the, the last day that you'll be able to make changes. Uh, we're expecting to have schedules available to you in the portal on August 17th this year. We'll have the scheduling arena week. That's for uh, corrections, uh, changes to schedules of a certain type. You'll get more information about that, of course. That'll be the week of August 29th. And first day of school next year for all grades. All grades start on September 6th, 2022. You'll also have this electives and course registration info sheet. This gives you a lot more information, especially about the uh, alternate courses, the uh, optional courses, the elective courses that you want to take and how you need to go about choosing them. A little worksheet for you that we include in the rule of seven, trying to make sure that you have a full schedule uh, for the year. And here, of course, is the listing then of all of the visual arts, career and tech, wellness courses, as well as the performing arts classes. Uh, be sure that you have reviewed the graduation requirements that you see posted here. That's, of course, in the course catalog. And you want to, of course, spend some time with that course catalog before you get into the uh, portal and start choosing your classes. Once you go over to the portal, you'll see that we have... Um, we're going to log in here in just a moment. Remember, if you forgot your password, you should have set up a backup for yourself, which you can access by clicking the I Forget My Password link right here at the bottom of this screen. And there it will go to the qu security questions that you set up when you established your account over the summer or in September of this year. Once I log on, I need to click here on My Info. And at the My Info screen, I'm then going to scroll down to requests right here at the bottom left, requests. There are two ways to look at your requests. There's the entry mode, which is right here, which tells me the courses that my teachers have selected for me and the recommendations that they've given. And then I exit entry mode and I can see all of those here um, is a list. You will also be able to see the comments that teachers have left for you about your schedule and the requests. Back here in the entry mode, there's some important information that you're going to want to be familiar with here at the top. 
it's different for each grade, but it's reminding you that you must enter at least seven credits of, uh, you can enter a maximum of seven credits of primary requests, and you must also enter your wellness request. You can, you will also want to enter more than that so that we have the alternates that you have. So here we see the five courses that are recommended. I know in this case, because I've checked the graduation summary, that I need additional elective credits in order to graduate. So I'm going to go right into Career in Tech Ed. And I don't see it here on the first screen. I click this arrow and I get to the second and then the third screen and the fourth screen. And that's the course I want. I want Foods of France. Click OK. Select. Click OK. And now I'll see that Foods of France shows up right away under my elective. However, I know that Foods of France is only offered once every year. And I know that, therefore, it may not work with my schedule. It might conflict with my Spanish class or my environmental science class. So I have to go in now to my elective alternates and l let the computer know that if I don't get Foods of France, I want it to take Italy, China or American cuisine or international baking. I can select more than one. I can select on multiple screens if I want. And then I click OK. And those three classes are now going to show up as alternate elective choices. Letting the computer and letting us know that if this Foods of France class does not work with your schedule, or if it's full, that any of these three others could be the ones that you would take instead. Because I'm a senior, and this is true for both seniors and sophomores for next year, you need to enter an alternate English class. Currently, I'm selected for craft of writing. If you're a sophomore, you might have something like real world literature, but you need to also enter your alternate. In this case, I'm going to pick an alternate of fiction and film so that if craft of writing does not work for my schedule, the computer will know that we would prefer that you would prefer to have film and fiction. I might also have alternates for other courses. For example, the Environmental Science and Society course, I might want to let the computer know that if I don't get into that, I want to take Anatomy and Physiology. And again, I won't be scheduled for that course unless it does, unless the Environmental Science course does not work with my schedule. I need to make sure that I have my Wellness class selected. It says Health and Fitness here, but in your version it will say our new title for this department called Wellness. And I'm going to scroll down to the boys volleyball team select that and that's that's the uh, athletics offering that I will do next year fulfill my health and my wellness requirement click OK and again that shows up here now I'm still short I don't quite have my seven credits here I have one credit for American Gov another credit for um, environmental science half a credit for foods of France quarter credit for volleyball one credit for Spanish, one credit for stats, one credit for craft of writing, and I'm just short. And I also know that I need more elective requirements. So I'm going to go into my visual arts, and the one I want is not here on the first. In fact, I want to do two. I want to do both photography, and clicking to the next screen, I want to do 3D animation. I'm going to select those, click OK, and now I know that I've reached my seven credit requirement for my primary requests. I might go back and do alternates later on. I've also added a note here to my counselor to talk about the science courses to make sure that that's the course I want. And finally, I must hit post down at the bottom. And then after you hit post, you will see a little green indicator which tells you that your request has posted. Make sure you see that. Make sure that the time has updated when you do that. There's the, there's the green request successfully posted. That just shows up momentarily and then goes away, but you'll know that you did it when it gives you the updated time that you posted. And that's it. Now your counselor will go in at some point after the window closes next Thursday to review them and to approve the requests that you made. Finally, one reminder more for seniors. We've added this new scheduling priority form. You go in, you'll enter. You'll, the link is, again, on the instructions that we sent out. You enter your email address, name, counselor, and then I'm going to go through and make sure that Mr. Gorman knows that my real priority is environmental science. That's the course that I really have been looking forward to taking. That's the one I want. Second, I'm going to let him know that after that, I want to make sure I get into that American Gov class. And if I don't get into American Gov, I might enter a new request for AP Human Geo, just in case. And this way, again, Mr. Gorman and the schedules will know that if I don't get into this Gov class, I can take AP Human Geography. And then I will submit that form. And that's it.
Thank you so much. If you have questions, ask your advisor, ask your guidance counselor, or you can send an email to us here at the school. Thank you. Have a great day.